Today we'll uh, run through a quick uh, look at how to change the customer search, what fields to show, uh, change the labels, and also do a default uh, query. Uh, let's open up the advanced search. And uh, we see we have a number of uh, fields available here, uh, which we want to change. So we go to the uh, personalize and say the screen. And now we get the screen up and I can uh, change it. So uh, the first one we want to do is on the, the customer. Here we see that uh, I do not have the content account available uh, today. So I'll select that and we'll add that to the screen. And now we see that content account is there. On the address uh, section, we will uh, remove state since this is not valid for uh, what we and uh, also the um, postal code we'll take here so we'll click on postal code and I will change that to zip code as a label and we see now that the zip code is, is uh, or the label is updated to uh, zip code and uh, last down in the utility specific section we will also change the label first for the POD external ID. Uh, we'll take the POD external ID and here we will call it uh, so one of the local names of this in case we're UK, call it MPAN. We can call it MPAN ID. And then uh, for my use cases, I don't really think that connection object is something I would ever search for if a custom calls in, so I will take that away from the screen. So with these few modifications, the screen works uh, better for, for my use case. I will save it. And then we'll go out of the personalization. And we'll open it in normal use. And now we can see our content account uh, state is, is gone. Oh, I actually have both floor and apartment here. Let me go back and remove the, the floor because floor is not something I use either. Here, yeah, take it away and we'll save it. I'm going to go out again. And now I have stayed away. I only have the apartment number. We call it zip code. I've now called it the MPAN ID, and the connection object is not here. The the last thing we can do is if I all, always have something that is should be default <coughs> from a search perspective. Let's do that here to say I'm always searching for um, UK. So I'll put in this as a search criteria. I will click on save query. I will call it uh, Steen's query here, and I can here click that to become the default query. So this is the one I always see. So it's okay. And now we see that when I go into this customer search, it will default to my query, which has the default value of UK. Of course, if I had others like the default, I can go back to that. And in this case, I will now see that the country is not filled out. So this was a two minute, just very short updating and changing things to better suit the specific use case uh, quickly and uh, ready to use. Thank you.